So let's talk about how this budget line is going to change if we change the cost of these goods here. So we have the cost per ticket, $15, cost per meal is five. We have that possibility table, we have the budget line. So let's pretend that the cost per ticket is going to go up to $20. How is that gonna change things? How is that gonna affect the budget line? Well, actually a nice way to show it is to figure out what these endpoints are gonna be. So we still have the same budget, 60 bucks. What's gonna happen if we spend zero dollars on meals? If we buy no meals, how many movie tickets can we buy with the cost per ticket now at $20 instead of 15? Well, 60 divided by 20 would give us three. So now instead of four movie tickets and zero meals, we're gonna be able to buy three movie tickets and zero meals. And so that point is going to be here. Let's show it in a different color, right? So zero meals and three movie tickets. And notice because the cost per meal doesn't change, this point actually isn't gonna change. So if we have $60, if we now spend zero dollars on um, movies, well, how many meals can we buy? Well, because there's still five dollars each, 60 divided by five would give us 12 meals. So this point here would actually stay the same. And so to see the new budget line, we could just connect this point and this point. You don't have to figure out all of the combinations in between. Now you can, you can make another table here. So let's say we went down to, um, instead of three movie tickets, what if we bought two movie tickets at this new price? Well, we'd be spending $40 on movies then. We'd have $20 left over for meals. Each meal costs $5, so we'd be able to buy four meals. So two movie tickets and uh, four meals is a combination that we can do with $60 and this new ticket price. So that would be uh, that would be a point two and four. That would be like over here, right? This would be four over here. Okay, so we don't have to go through that whole process. I just kind of want to talk about the effects on the budget line. So notice that with an increase in the cost per ticket, what happened to the budget line is that it got less steep. So notice it was a certain steepness over here. Well, now it's this steepness. And so that slope is going to be, uh, the absolute value of the slope is gonna be lower. So the slope initially of the initial budget line was negative one over three. What if we were to get the slope of this line here? Well, this coordinate would be zero and three, or actually, you know what? Let's not even do it the mathematical way. We can do, remember the price on the x-axis divided by the price on the y-axis and then negative in front. So the price on the x-axis is still uh, $5, but the price of the product on the y-axis, now the ticket is 20. So we'd end up getting negative one over four. And negative one over four is less steep than negative one over three. This is like negative 0.33. This is negative 0.25. So that absolute value 0.25 is less than 0.33, right? So that, uh, that line is, um, is less steep. The opportunity cost changes. So now instead of, um, for one movie, you got to sacrifice three meals. Well, now for one movie, you got to sacrifice four meals because that cost per ticket went up. So you got to sacrifice more meals in order to get it. Okay, so in general, I actually want to make a point here is that if you take the price of the good on the y-axis and you increase it, 
like we just did. So the ticket is on the y-axis and we increased it from 15 to 20. What happens is the budget line gets less steep. Right, this point here will shift down. And then if we take that good on the y-axis, if we uh, decrease the price, what's gonna happen is the budget line is gonna get more steep. So let's pretend that we take this cost per ticket and instead of $20, let's price it at 10. So initially it was at 15, right? That's this budget line here. And now we're gonna price it at 10. What's gonna happen to the, uh, the budget line now? Well, notice that if it's $10, if we spend $0 on meals, how many movie tickets can we buy? 60 divided by 10, which is six, which is gonna be all the way up here. So that's gonna be one of the possibilities. And then notice this isn't gonna change because the cost per meal is still gonna be five. So 60 divided by five still gives us 12. So that budget line is gonna look like that. And notice that this here is more steep, has more of a negative slope than this budget line. So if the price of the good on the y-axis, if we decrease that price, then we're gonna have a more steep of a line. So now let's talk about changing the price of the meals, changing of the price of the good in the x-axis. So this budget line here, let's keep that cost per ticket constant at 15. So we could still buy four tickets if we buy zero meals, just like the original budget line. But let's change this cost per meal now. So instead of $5, let's bump this up to 10. How is that going to affect the budget line? Well, if we bump up the cost per meal to $10, so we got 60 bucks, let's say that we spend $0 on the movies or on the movie tickets. So the full 60 is gonna be spent on meals. How many meals can we buy? Well, if we divide this by uh, $10 per meal, we're gonna be able to buy six meals now. So instead of 12, we'll buy six. And if we buy zero meals, we'll still be able to buy four movie tickets because they're staying constant at 15. So the new budget line here, let's put this in a different color is gonna look like this. So notice if we take the price on the x-axis and we increase it, what happened to the slope of the line? Notice that it got more steep. It went from here to here, right? It's more steep, it's more of a negative slope. So this here ends up being more steep. And then the other way, what if we took the price on the x-axis and decreased it? So instead of, um, instead of $5, let's price it at $2.50. What's gonna happen then? Well, then we're gonna be able to buy 24 meals if we spend $0 on the movie tickets because this now would be two and a half. So this would end up being 24. This point would stay constant. Okay, so the new budget line, let's, uh, let's put it over here. Basically, it's not to scale, but the 24 is gonna be out here. Okay, so we would connect these points. Notice that this line is less steep than this one, has less of a negative slope than this one. This one is more steep. Okay, so if we take the price on the x-axis and decrease it, then the line becomes less steep. And notice that these relationships are different on both axes. Sorry, I'm kind of a mess over here, but notice that if we increase the price of the good on the y-axis, the slope is gonna be less steep, but if we increase the price of the good on the x-axis, the line's gonna be more steep. 
And so the change in price of the product depends on which axis it is on. Okay, so that's pretty important to know. So if you get a multiple choice question giving you two products and then they say we're going to increase the price of this one product but they don't tell you on which axis that product is going to be for the budget line and then they ask you how is the budget line going to be affected well the answer is there's not enough information you would pick that choice in the multiple choice because you have to know which axis is uh is representing which product for your budget right because as you can see here the effects on the price or uh, the changes in price on the effects of the slope of the line the effects on the budget line depends on which axis that product is on and so then you can actually look at combinations as well so notice that if we take the price of the product on the y-axis and increase it plus take the price of the product on the x-axis and decrease it then we for sure are going to get a less steep line right because what's going to happen is if we do this this is going to shift down and if we do this this is going to shift out so notice that that line is going to be less steep than this one and then if we take the price on of the product on the y-axis and decrease it and then take the price of the product on the x-axis and increase it we're going to have a more steep line right because then what would happen is if we decrease the price of the product on the y-axis then um, let me think here if we decrease then that's going to shift it up and then if we increase the price of the product on the x-axis that's going to shift it this way so that line would be more steep but then notice that the other combinations you can't tell without getting more information so if for example if we increase the price on the y-axis and increase the price on the x-axis can't tell just from this information we need to know what those actual change in prices are to see how that budget line is affected if it's going to be more steep or less steep and then same thing if we decrease the price on the y-axis and decrease the price on the x-axis can't tell here either right just a couple of uh, relationships that thought I would mention um, and then combinations of these relationships as well you may start getting questions related to how's the budget line going to be affected if this price changes or if this price changes or if this price goes up or is how's the opportunity cost going to change so all these types of questions knowing these relationships I think is important for the budget line